as the kids head back to school, we want to make the transition a little easier. We are talking with health experts here in San Antonio, and today our topic is sanitation, things like mask wearing, washing hands, and wiping things down before touching them. So for tips, we turn to Dr. Joe Ferretes from the Children's Hospital of San Antonio. Good morning. Good morning, how are y'all? We're great, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> well, first of all, how can parents help their kids with hand washing and hand sanitizing at home before they go back to school? Very good question. I've been very impressed that most of my patients actually know what to do. So leveraging on what they already learned from last year is really important. Say, hey, let's review what you learned already last year. This is not going to be dramatically different. And so let's figure out how to do that. One good way to do that is just going with your child in the morning when they're brushing their teeth and washing their hands. And that's a good way to practice. Use more water and less soap. A lot of kids use too much soap and not enough water. The more water, the better. And what's kind of cool about that, I have a, a seven-year-old, sometimes she's actually watching us like, hey, you're not doing that correctly. So I guess it gets to a point after a while. Uh, another Modeling question. Modeling is very important. Yes. That is extremely key. Definitely. Another question though for us, uh, what things should kids have in their backpacks to help keep them healthy through flu and COVID season this year? Good question. It varies a little bit with age group, obviously, with the very youngest kids might not really know what to do with a small bottle of hand sanitizer, but you want to make sure the hand sanitizer is alcohol based, not other chemical bases. So most hospital, I mean, most uh, uh, school settings will have the hand sanitizers, but a small bottle of hand sanitizer, if permitted by the school, is okay to carry. Show the kid how to use it. It's not a substitute for hand washing with water. That's always still your best option. Lots of water, a little bit of soap, and spending time in getting in between your fingers. But in lieu of the inability to wash your hands with water, a little dab of hand sanitizer uh, when you can't get to water. So a little bottle of hand sanitizer would be a good idea. Maybe some wipes if they're able to take it and always the extra mask. Good advice there. And you know, at my child's school, you know, this is actually before COVID, they were taught uh, when they wash their hands to sing happy birthday. Are there any other tricks that parents can do at home that can help train the kids on the importance of good hand washing behavior? That's a really good one. Have the kid pick their favorite song. Make it fun. This should not be a scary thing. This should be something we should be doing for everything, for flu, for stomach viruses. This is just basic sanitation. And so have them pick a happy song that they enjoy that mirrors the ABCs. If that's what they like, that's great. But say, hey, what song would you like to use? Let's use your song. You sing it in your head, and that's what works best. All right. Great advice for us. Thank you so much, Dr. Joe Fadadez, for joining us today. Thank you for having us. Keep those hands washed, lots of water, and a little cream to afterwards to keep the uh, hands from drying out. That's true. Thank you.